Welcome to this video where we're going to link two tables in an Access database. If you look below, you'll see a link and it'll take you to this website. I've just downloaded the call log. I'll now download the company list. So save target as, navigate to, I've just put it in a databases folder, DB1, save. So it'll come up here. Let's take a look at both of these tables and uh, well they're Excel spreadsheets we are going to put them inside uh, access as tables. Now here's a list of company names and uh, here is a list of help desk calls from these companies. You'll notice in this table that some of the companies are mentioned a number of times. So we've got beta here, beta again, beta. So we call this well, redundant data. And when we put it in the database, the process is going to be called normalization, where instead of having those names repeated, they only appear once here. And if we have further details about each company, we only have to enter it once and then we can link here and those company details will come up on a main sheet. So for the moment, actually I'm just going to enter one more record here. Uh, this is the school where I'm working. Oh, I need to enable editing. Uh, and just so that we've got a feel for what the fields are in each of these databases and what's going on. Uh, currently I'm working at Sydney Secondary College. Uh, that's Taylor Street. Whoops, this is Glebe. Uh, not sure of the postcode. Uh, we'll just make one up. 2042. Uh, and the phone number can be uh, 02. Uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. Alright, so one more college. I'm actually going to copy that and I'm going to use that in this other database here so that I don't misspell it. Oh, it's not going to copy. Oh, is it because it's... Alright, copy and paste. There we go. Now, what are the fields that we need here? We need a an ID field. What I might do here is just freeze the panes. So if I click here, uh, go to Layout. Uh, where is Layout on this one? All right, let's go to View, and we will freeze the panes. Now, now if I slide left, I can, still can see my comp. Uh, company, and if I scroll, I can still see my column headings. All right, this needs to be unique. If I were to put in 27, we would have a duplicate and I'd have problems. Uh, and so the date is going to be 2016, 21st of the 10th. If I don't put in a year, it'll automatically put in the current year and the the format is different there, we can sort that if we need to. Uh, this call is open, which means that it has not yet been solved. It's medium, uh, medium importance. Oh, I've done that twice, my goodness. Uh, and uh, it's from the Blackwater campus. Uh, and it's about a uh, machine uh, with rolling black screen. Uh, and it's a hardware issue, probably. And it's going to be assigned to, let's just copy this one down. 
So Chantel can have that one. It is not closed yet, so we don't need to put anything in those remaining two fields. All right, let's do call 29. Uh, that can also be by me. Let's make two calls on the same day. Uh, and I'm going to hold shift, right arrow, right arrow. Chantel can have this one as well. Actually, maybe we should put this one for a little while ago. Maybe we'll make this uh, 22nd of September. And so that this one actually has been closed. Where are we? And what was it was closed on the 29th of this of September. Now that date field is still formatted correctly. Uh, and actually this was a different problem. This was a an alignment with a projector. And um, uh, instructor teacher. On the method. Okay. So we now have our tables with a couple of extra records in them, and I've closed them and saved them. Uh, close and save. We'll now create a database. So new Microsoft Access database. I'm going to call it DB1 uh, two tables. And open it. Now if you're working on Access 2010, it will look very, you know, it has a slightly different look and feel, but it will behave very similarly. Now, external data, we are going to import from Excel. And we'll go uh, Browse, and in our Documents folder, we'll go Databases, DB1, and we'll import the call log. Okay. It's brought up, note that it's got the heading names in our first row. So we'll sort that in just a minute. certainly does look right. Um, we've got no data on sheet 2 or sheet 3, so we definitely want sheet 1 here. Okay, we have got headings in our first row, so that's the second screen. Now, uh, these we can adjust these numbers. I'm actually going to make this a long integer, which can be a key field. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about anything else because we can change it once it's in access. So I'm going to go next. And I don't need access to choose a primary key because I already have one there with the call number. So yes, I'm going to leave the call number as the primary key. Let's go next. And I know that's unique. We looked at them before. Primary key, a key must be absolutely unique. I'm going to call that table calls. I'm a little traditional in my labeling, so all my tables will start with TBL. And here we go. We do not need to save those steps because we're not going to import that same table again. If we were doing it on a regular basis, then uh, we would. Okay, there's our data sitting here in Access. We can format that and deal with it later. Right now, let's import the companies. Exactly the same process. Browse companies. You could pause here, do your own without having to check the video, and then uh, come back and check the video if you have troubles. All right, this next field, we are going to need yeah, short text means less than 256 characters. So let access add a primary key. I'm going to use my company name. Even though it's long, if you had thousands or even millions of records, you would use a number because it's only four or eight bytes. This looks like 
uh, 30 characters, so it's going to be at least 30 bytes. So, uh, but in our case, with only a small record set, we can use that as our primary key because we know all of those are different. Let's keep going. And I'm going to call that table companies. All right. We don't need to save the steps. Now we've got two tables in our database. All right. I think we'll stop this video here and we will make another one in a minute.